Welcome to the quick meeting recap for the work session and special city council meeting that took place on Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. In the work session, the council received an update from the planning department. The update included the number of dwelling units by zoning, residential projects by zoning, and residential project types and statuses. A breakdown of these totals can be found in the meeting results document on our website. The council reviewed a rezone request at 1698 Kiesel Avenue. The owner of the property is proposing to rezone from CP2, which is community commercial, to R16, which is single family residential. The property formerly had a house on it, but it was demolished and the property was rezoned to CP2 to allow for a small parking lot to be built. The property owner would like to remove the parking lot and build a residence on the property. This will be considered by the council on November 9th. The council received a presentation from the administration for a budget amendment and salary schedule amendment related to police salaries. The proposed amendment would implement phase three of the Evergreen classification, compensation, and benefit study for sworn police officers. The change will implement full penetration, meaning that officers will be moved to their current steps within their respective ranges. Officers will also be eligible to move to the next step on their anniversary date. The administration believes these changes are necessary to remain competitive in the current hiring market. The cost of the early phase three implementation is almost $2.5 million. Funding is proposed to come from $990,950 in sales tax and $1,493,150 from general fund balance. There is also a separate related proposal to amend the range placement table for sworn officer increases starting police officer pay from $21.39 to $24.80, changes step progression, and adds additional steps for police officers and master police officer positions. This will be considered by the council on October 19th. The council reviewed a proposed budget amendment to recognize new revenues, appropriations, and consider proposed uses for various departmental carryover from fiscal year 2021. During the work session, the administrative staff indicated there was a mathematical error in the documents and indicated an updated transmittal would be forwarded on Wednesday. The proposed budget amendment recognizes $2,451,325 in revenue from grants, donations, other governmental agencies, and retained earnings and appropriates those funds for various uses. The proposal also includes recommendations for use of $2,165,400 in departmental general fund and medical fund fiscal year 2021 carryover. The total corrected budget amendment is $4,616,725. The proposed appropriations are to benefit the fire department, public services, and community and economic development. A breakdown of the proposed appropriations can be found in the packet information on our website. The council will consider this budget amendment on October 19th, 2021. In the council meeting, the council and mayor recognized Visit Ogden president and CEO Sarah Tolliver. Tolliver was named as a recipient to the 2021 Utah Tourism Hall of Fame. Tolliver, along with her family and some of her staff from Visit Ogden, were present to accept the recognition. In a request to be on the agenda, Assistant Vice President of Weber State University's Division of Student Affairs, Dr. Enrique Romo, presented access and diversity programs offered through his office. He also introduced students who have been successful as a result of these programs. University President Brad Mortensen was also present and announced a $500,000 sponsorship from Allied Bank to support WSU's Emerging Hispanic Institution initiative. Through common consent, the council approved the reappointments and a reappointment to the Records Review Board. Tamara Glover and Joseph R. Simpson were reappointed to the board and Kevin Cottrell was appointed to the board. The council reviewed a communications plan regarding the rezone at 5 50 East 900 North that was extended last week. The developer petitioned to rezone the vacant church property from R16, which is single family residential, to R3, which is multifamily residential. The purpose of the rezone was to demolish the vacant church and build townhomes. The Planning Commission unanimously recommended rezoning the property from R16 to R3. Issues of traffic and community plan consistencies for the area were brought up by residents in a public hearing. Different options will be considered to address residents' concerns before this is brought back to the council. The entire recording from the meeting of October 12th can be accessed on the Ogden City Council's Facebook page and podcast with timestamps to skip to specific agenda items. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to the council office at 801-629-8153 or send an email to citycouncil at ogdencity.com.